All right, let's just crack into this. Come on. There we go. Boom. We are back in the create world with very little create things going on here at the moment, but we'll get in there. We'll get in there. Get in there slowly but surely. Got the iron farm. Villager breeder over there. Pretty stock sand and stuff. Sugarcane, I think I had that there last time. But what I need to finish off is the mob farm. Um, I can really use some arrows and some string and a couple other things. Maybe some gunpowder. Some bones would be great. Just bone meal just makes growing cherries just even easier. Saves me a lot of time. But you know, stock standard mob grinder. And also some XP would be great because I do have an enchanting setup. First of all, before I go any further on with this, just need to do that. Because I don't want mobs falling on my head right now. Uh, and I just need to get a couple of these bad boys in here. And a couple of... and some hoppers. Courtesy of the uh, iron farm course and we've already got mobs dropping which I was a little bit worried about hence why I built it up where I have uh, I'm gonna need need some more slabs I think actually let's just take this one off take this off take that off Quickly make some more slabs. Because I'm going to need some slabs on this, I think. Oh, no, no. That is not going to help. Just don't want the XP getting stuck. Trapdoors will do. I should still be able to swipe at their ankles. Might have to get down here though. Uh, actually, maybe I might swap this out for some trapdoors itself. Front here, we'll just have to have to assess what's going on once, kind of. Definitely some mobs in here. Thank you. Oh. Can you see me? No. Oh, you might be able to see me from back there. So I might have to change these back out with slabs, but that's okay. Because, you know, I can just kind of just... They should mostly be like one-hit kills. I'm going to do it with those slabs. But yeah, as I was saying, just super simple mob farm. Let's just quickly go up here and see what's going on. Not the biggest fan of these kinds of mob farms, but the light level is all zero, so that is good. Oh. 
Perfect for just getting some XP and stuff. Some, you know, early-ish mob drops. Let's just grab these out of here. Ugh, inventory is a mess again. That's good. Yeah. I don't know why they try and do this sometimes, but yeah. Now, a mob farm with the whole, you know, platforms with the dispensers that washes them off the platforms would technically be way better, but that requires dispensers, and I don't have a lot of string to make bows for dispensers, so I will eventually get some spiders down here. But there's a mine shaft. Where is it? Should be able to see it. Yeah, so that big hole over there, there's a mine shaft down there. So I can probably just build like a spider farm down there at some point. Um but yeah, the rates on this mob farm are going to be absolutely terrible. Um not gonna be great. There's also a zombie spawner, but I kind of... Zombies aren't really good for XP. Like, if I found a skeleton spawner, that'd be even better. But I'm getting a few small things, which is... Which is what I need. Like, because I beat you if I go like this, and if we go all the way down here, find a cave. Yeah, you see, there's still mobs spawning down here. In these unlit caves and stuff, so like, maybe we'll go through the mine shaft and light it on up. But yeah, gotta love free cam. This is a bit That's cheaty, me. but you know. I'm already playing modern Minecraft, I'm playing create mods, so even though I've just built vanilla farms, uh you know, at the iron farm and this pretty stock standard mob grinder. But yeah, if I could get a couple more levels that'd be great, but I'm just gonna go hop down. Ugh, this is nerve-wracking. I hate doing that. But it is the fastest way down. But yeah. Let me just go tidy up a few things in here. Throw this away. Put that back. Oh, this is almost deep. Oh. So I do have some enchanted gear. Fortune 2 on my pet cat here. Eh. I'll take it. But silk touch. Efficiency 4. Unbreaking silk touch. Pretty good. Especially when it was the first roll in the enchantment table. But yeah, as I was saying. Oh, I found some more horse armor and stuff. You know. Grab myself another horse. Because why not? But yeah, I got this little enchantment set up under the stairs here. Uh, kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of, you know, old Harry Potter's room. You know how he used to live under the stairs? A bit of lapis. The usual things. Um, now if I'm going to go down to, in, into this mine shaft, which I think I'm going to. Because if I can find a cave spider spawner, 
that would be mint. Uh, let me just pop some screw back. Um, I'll quickly go jump in the bed. I don't know what I'm going to name you, but it's not going to be Doug. Doug lives in the other world. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, yeah.
That's that one. Basically turned off. It's the other one over there. That was close. I do not want to die down here. Give me that. Ah, no enchantments. It's a bit cheap of you. I can get strength from here at least anyway for now. Because I'm definitely going to need some. Skeletons. Try and get down there and light that up, but that's a bit dangerous. Ah, dang it. Well, that's the first death. Let's just grab some stacks. I do really need a couple of things. Sword, maybe an axe. Um, typically. Oh, dang it. Damn it! I always do that by mistake at some point. Uh, that will have to do. Uh, yeah, well. It's going to go one of either ways. Very well or very poorly. Just want to get my gear. I'm not too I'm not too worried about it, but I did have two diamond picks, and I would like to have them back. Should probably grab some food, but nah. What could possibly go wrong? Well, everything, but.
Right across that bridge when we get there. Damn creeper snuck right up on me. Hey, swat up. Torches. Man, there are so many spider spawners around here. Absolute mess. Ah, uh, where is it? Oh, I don't care about the crafting tables. That's fine by me. I know where most things are now. Good. That was dangerous. But fun. Okay, that should stop that one from spawning, I think. If not, let's just try to get one up there. God damn Enderman. Stop creeping on me, man. Just try and get a torch really close to this one. That will stop that from spawning. Okay. Just creep me out. It is going to be hard to light up all of this cave.
Blueberries, don't mind if I do. Bread. Quarters. Still lots of mobs down here now. There's going to be a lot of mobs on the surface at the moment because it's night time out there. I'm not too worried about normal spiders. It's the cave spiders that I do not like. some more coal. That shouldn't be too hard down here. So I'm hoping not. Definitely need a torch up there. Yeah, that should be alright. Yeah, why not? Be on the safe side. The torch in here should be all good. Now, I always get lost in these damn places. Thank you. I lost all my levels too, which is definitely not ideal. But that's okay. We can... We can, we can get them back. Would have been a little bit harder to get this gear back though. Let's just use the old fortune because I need a fortune as much coal as possible. Because we are on a mission to light this place on up a bit, so the mob farm up top works a lot better. And also so it's just safe in general to come down here. Because I will probably end up making a spider farm down here. Because it looks like there's three spawners pretty close together, so... If I can take advantage of that, I probably should. Some more of this coal. Come back for the rails later. That's usually what I do. Mm. Should have enough light in it. Okay. Some more stuff down there. I will tell you this though, I really do like the different blocks that they have in the create mod. Definitely want a torch there. I'll place one just down here a little bit. Okay. That'll be helpful later, I think. Uh, what else is there to light up around here? Oh, definitely down here. Oh. Oh god, there's mobs on either side. Of this wall, apparently. Must be below me. That's okay. 
We'll get down there eventually. Once I've kind of got the majority of this one lit up. Bit of parkour never hurts. Well, until it does. Try and stop some spawns from happening up and down around there. Very easy and quick way of getting straight. Dang, it's hard to navigate some of the strip zones sometimes. Torches in there. Here's where those scarier noises were coming from earlier. Grab some of the torches and let's keep going. That's a dead end. Bit of a glitch there. Some coal. And some extra level as well, still matter. <coughs> Uh, 
Ah, oh, dang it. Not again. She's been dealing with like, there's like three of them out in that main hall. I hate dealing with spider spawners. So particularly when I can't get to them quickly enough. I can use all the string. Also, if I'm correct, there's another one just through here. I have a funny feeling there might be two. No, it's just one. Cross for that. Maybe this one might be the best candidate for the old. Oh. oh, we got a stack of string. Uh, oh, that's good enough for me. Not worried about the iron. I have an iron farm for that. That's always good. Now, is there anything else down here? Don't think so. Definitely take another rain tag, some more glowberries, a bit of bread, some melon seeds. Damn, he's got the ultimate weapon, the iron shovel. Hey, how do you hit me? Can we definitely take the melon seeds instead? Oh, I hope the Enderman's not angry at me.
across that water was there. So I would have been a little bit more wrecked. Well, actually, a whole lot more wrecked. Not the biggest fan of watery caves, but. They do create spaces where things don't tend to spawn very often, so I'm not overly not impressed. I'll keep an eye out for things. the creeper Oh, what's on that bow? Oh well, he didn't drop it. So that question will remain unanswered. But that's okay. Immediately place torch. Do not want more things spawning in my... Too close. I just want to light this up as good as possible. Hopefully this helps increase the spawn rates on my mob farm. Not only that, but it did cost me my first death in this world. And it better be worth something. I was kind of hoping my first death may have been something to something epic, you know, like... The Ender Dragon, not a creeper exploding in my face. Okay, I might not go all the way down there, but let's try and light up. All of this stuff as best I can. I thought I heard just heard a zombie. Yep, there's a zombie. So I saw a creeper, but I don't know whether he was tracking me or not. Hope it not. Oh, well, he's on me now. So it's a damn skeleton. Too many skeletons. I need to get out of there. As quickly as possible. Well, it's not dying. Let's get some regen guard. Ooh. Wish I had some better armor, but I don't, unfortunately. Should be run over. Actually, I might just 
do that. Where do those skeletons go? Definitely did follow me. Armor, are you wearing? What kind of armor was that damn skeleton? Oh, that zombie wearing. Oh, place another block there. Another block here. Damn skeletons, man. Be much better when I got some better armor. That was a skeleton there for a second, but it wasn't. It was just my overactive imagination. Technically, that glow lichen would stop that spawning there, but I don't trust it. Lots of ores and stuff down here I'm going to have to come back for at some point. A few more torches. Try and make it safe for when I return. Oh, skeleton. What am I doing? Why am I not? I really need to get a bow with infinity on it because I am so sick of creepers. probably using way too many torches but better safe than sorry in this case I think dang it damn dripstone I wondered what was going on there just me being an idiot and jumping on some dripstone apparently I'm hoping once I've got all this lit up, it will help with the small rates, spawn rates in my mob farm. But as I said earlier, that mob farm is not a very efficient design. 
but it will do the job for what I need it for. I just don't trust that platform in darkness. Stuff can definitely spawn on that. Gotta go up to that one, I think. Not be, not be yet. Oh, glow squid. I've already been here. This must lead into the other tunnel. Well, into the other cave system then. Oh, and it does. Nice. Definitely need to light up. Oh, I don't want to light up the water. Just some of these dark patches around here. The mobs can spawn. That's my main concern. It's hostile mobs. How am I going to get up there? I don't know. Just mine my way up, I think. Maybe. That was definitely the easiest way. Just don't cross any of these platforms at night. Oh. Water. Yeah, good. It's over there. I'm more worried about falling on some dripstone and accidentally killing myself. Oops, what? Damn it. Skeleton there too. Uh, that's not ideal. Skeleton's got the high ground too. Just finish lighting up this. Don't know why I placed a torch there, but. Torches. Yeah, definitely don't want the beetroot seed. Coal, absolutely. I'll take the other golden apple though. Thank you. 
Where did that come from? Jeez. I'm a bit of a fright. It's definitely helped block out a lot of the spawning around here. Grab some of this, I don't know what this is. But Pretty. I also see some basalt. Smooth so basalt, which means. Potential geo? Usually? I don't really want dripstone. Smooth basalt is great to build with. Uh, what do we have here? Oh god, we've still got more mine shaft down there. There's a geo over there, but that's miles down. I thought there would be a geo over here. Because that's usually what the smooth basalt. Hoping that that resolves, well, blocks off a lot of spawns down here. A little bit more torching to do, I think. But yeah, this mine car, mine, mine shaft intersects this massive like dripstone cave, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's more down there. I don't think I'm gonna go down there though. Not today. Because we've been at this for about an hour now, and I don't want to get out of here. So if I take this water stream, it should take me all the way back up here. around here but not an awful lot but usually I don't use the mob farm at night so could really use 30 levels again though let's get a decent bow so we got some more resources we got found some new bot new blocks that I hadn't seen before um, so yeah got some more stiff Oh no, it's so I've already found some of this good food. Let's get food going.
Hmm. Some old gear, some name tags. That was an accident. Don't mean to make all those helmets, but ah, oh, they may come in handy later. Gold, small bones, and some more lapis. Let's put in here. So it's a more drop. Oh, I set the wrong key there. It's all right. Just see whether we've managed to increase the spawn rate a little bit up here. Because there shouldn't be as much spawning, you know, in the cave down there at the moment. Now, it won't make a tremendous difference to the spawn rates up here, but. Hopefully just enough. So if I just jump in the old free cam, let's just go have a quick look, see? Oh, there's definitely more mobs up here than there was before. Now we just have to kind of let them pathfind their way into the water streams. Zombie villager. <laughs> eh. I need the XP more than I need a zombie villager. I had a villager breed already, so you know. <clears throat> Kinda good on that front. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely had worse. Oh, witch spawned. Ugh. 
Spiders are a massive problem though. But I do have a re I do have a, a resolution to that problem. Dang witch. But yeah, I should definitely be high enough where there is some of those mobs we're spawning down there definitely aren't at the moment. Which is good. <laughs> But, as you can see, the, the rates on this farm are definitely not great. Um, yeah. I wonder how big that would actually be. Uh, what cube do I set that to? So if I was to go like that, that is the de despawned sphere. Man, that's actually quite a bit ways out. That actually, it's not that unreasonable to light all of the surface up at least that is definitely possible i've done a large chunk of this already All right where's the bottom of the sphere it's down here i've already done a fair chunk of this Yeah, because there's the diesel sphere. So there's like this little area here. And there. It's some, some other caves. I can do that. That's not hard. Geo. Don't need to worry about the water. done much of this it's got water in it don't need to worry about it too much I've done a fair chunk of this already might just need to light up the surface a little bit more oh yeah don't, ignore that I ran out of deep slate I'm gonna have to get some more No, but I think I might Because if I light up everything that's inside of this sphere Then from here Nothing on the outside of the sphere Will be in spawn radius So if I light up everything that's inside this We'll be good and I might actually do that off stream. Just because I know I need a... I haven't really started on any of the create mod things yet. 
because I feel like I don't have the resources. And I kind of want to do the stock standard Minecraft stuff first. So, you know, defeat the Ender Dragon, make sure I'm geared up. You know, I have a bit of a, a trading system. Well, I need at least mending books. I need it to be able to at least get mending. You know? Actually, maybe that's something we can work on at the moment. Maybe I can set up a small wee little... Oop! I hate doing that, man. Ooh! Spooks me every time I jump off the top of that damn thing. But I build it high up just so, you know, I don't have to despawn. I don't have to light up too many caves underneath here. Um, here you go, feed the cows. This might get a bit loud. Sorry, guys. Oh, God, that's loud. Hold on. Oh, that's much better. I can actually hear myself think. Take the top of that. That's pretty important, right there. So many wheat seeds. It's the good old fashioned cow crusher. It's entity cramming free food. All I gotta do is feed them. Breed them on up. Mm. Throw this in the old, the old furnoi. Could really make a smoker actually. But... I don't have one yet. I did find an ever fortress though, so. But before I go and fight the dragon, I kind of want to, you know, make sure I have some decent gear first. And definitely want infinity on a bow <coughs> with power. Power 5 would be great. Power 4. I can live with that. You know? I like to take my time when I'm playing Minecraft. I don't like to rush. But, you know, as it says... It's tagged as early game. That's what we're doing. Early game shenanigans. Alright. Since I wasted a bunch of iron, when I accidentally made 11 iron helmets, and that's not worth smelting them down, you only get one iron nugget out of it, so... Come check this bad boy on it. Oh, look at that. Plenty of iron. Oh. oh I love iron farms. Uh, are we taking that, boys? Thanking you. Now. Don't know exactly what I wanted this iron for. Um, 
that thought has slipped my mind. Replant my spruce tree. I forgot. I didn't get around to replanting it after I cut it down to make some trap doors for the mob farm. Cool. Damn creepers, man. Should rarely finish lighting everything up, but that's okay. So I'm gonna chop down a tree very quickly. I think that should be enough. God, I don't even have a crafting table on me at the moment. What am I doing? There, boys. And is it just that? Yes, it is. Smoke it. Take my crafting table with me. So, yeah, definitely one of the big things I'll be doing over the next couple of days is probably lighting everything up. Wait for that to finish. Ah. Hmm. Maybe that was just a small earthquake. I am not sure. That will make a blast furnace anyway. That iron farm just... Oh man! No! I'm, I'm not... I'm not dealing with you guys. Maybe I can despawn those uh, pillagers. Hold on. Let me just go out to the mob farm and hopefully it's far enough away that they just disappear. Dang it.
Alright. You guys need to leave my villagers alone. Might have to put some glass panes in there. Just so they can't be shot at. But I need to scare these guys off. Come on, hit your leader. Come on, just take him out. Alright, now you guys are just... Boom. Don't come back here. You've been warned. Trying to mess with my boys. Now that tree grew quickly. Still undecided on whether I need to strip this spruce on this house. I think I will. I think it might actually just look better. If I can get some more levels, that'd be great. I'd really use an infinity bow right now. Just a good bow. Got plenty of good... Got plenty of iron to make, you know... An, an anvil and whatnot. There. Blown up by a creeper. Straight to the face. But yeah, no, yeah. we're chilling. Chilling at the motorcycle. I think another one of the more early game Minecraft farms I will need to build is a slime farm because I know in Create you kind of need slime to make super glue. So if I can get a bit of a slime farm going, you know, that's probably a really good investment of time. So I have to hunt down a slime chunk, I think. Yeah. 
And I'm getting some good drops now, so it's always good. Definitely be nice to have sweeping edge on this sword. Spawn rates up here are still not very good, but that could also be down to like spiders and stuff too. You just stop spiders spawning in here. That should be relatively easy to do with some carpets, so... Because the spiders, they just stick around too long up there and... <laughs> hmm, got a carrot that time. Okay, that's enough of this, I think, for now. Grab this beard very quickly. You all right again? Ooh. Oh, I hate doing that, but it's the quickest way down. Just quickly reset my spawn in here. Oh. Quite remember what's needed for a blast furnace. Oh yeah, it wasn't that much. Um, smooth stone. But that'd be good for, you know, smelting up more copper and things. Oh, the roof finally fully oxidized. Oh, that took a while. Oh, that looks much better. But I think I might get rid of these things. Um, I was like, oh yeah, support beams. That kind of looks cool. And then I'm like, yeah, no. No, I need it. I think I need to get rid of them. Another thing I really need to find is some bamboo so I can make some scaffolding. It's going to make building things even easier. There's, I don't think there's a, a jungle anywhere near here, so. Yeah. Man, that sphere is huge. That is going to take me a good couple hours. All to just improve the rates of that one tiny little farm. Speaking of that. Go share some sheep. Could probably round up a bunch of sheep, put them in a pen, but it's kind of plenty around here, so just kind of find the white ones and just you know, give them a bit of a trim. You know, it's getting to summer, it's a bit warm, particularly here in Wellington today. Man, oh, freaking hell, it was warm. I hope it cools down a little bit tonight. Oh, gotta like that. That does not look like fun. 
I will handle that later. Because I'm going to need some carpets. Actually, I should check the storage room. Maybe I already have some left from earlier on. Okay. Some of these sheep are stingy with their wool today. Like, come on, man. Probably already have enough, to be honest. Yeah, that should probably do. I don't need that many, but... I'll go put these in the storage room for now. I already did. Yeah. All right. You know what? I think I've got some more. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do off stream for next stream. So, I think I'll leave it there for today, actually. I think that'd be it for me for today. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning on in. I'll probably be back on Sunday, I'd say, with another stream, or maybe beforehand. Oh, actually, probably not on Sunday, actually. Um, I go home for Christmas on Sunday, so, yeah. Maybe I'll do one on Saturday before I leave, but, yep. Alright, catch you guys later. See you next time. Bye.